All right, hello everyone, it's Asha. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today, I am excited to bring you this ultimate fall planning, fall reset video, I guess. I don't really know what I'm gonna call it. But today is Thursday. Um, I have the afternoon off, so I thought it was the perfect time for me to finally plan my fall TBR. I have most of the stuff set, but tell you all about it, figure out some of the other books I wanna read. Um, and then I also need to decorate for fall. I still haven't decorated, for fall or Halloween yet, um, and it's September 21st. Yeah, and fall is on Saturday. I honestly, this is like the first year I have not been excited for fall because <laughs> fall in Chicago lasts for like two days and then it's winter and cold and dreary and depressing. So I am literally like dreading fall <laughs> because I don't want winter. I hate winter winters in Chicago. I'm trying to get more into it. So I thought if I decorate and um, plan my fall reading and all that good stuff would be a good time. I am going to head to Michael's because there are a couple things that I want to get to decorate. I really want some fake fall leaves and I know Michael's has the best and they're not expensive and then I want to see what else they have at Michael's. There's a Marshall's over there that I really want to check out for some Halloween decor. I have been going Halloween decor shopping and hunting but honestly the Halloween stuff has not been that great this year I have to say um, but I'll also share with you the few things that I have picked up um, as well. So let's go ahead and head to my zip car so we can go shopping a little bit and then come back. I'm excited to figure everything else out. So let's go. <laughs> shopping I would say it was a pretty good success there was a really big target by that um, by that Michaels and so I got to see like all of the Halloween stuff out they still didn't have this one thing that I'm looking for from the dollar spot I literally have everyone in my family looking out for it it's so it's like this little um carousel thing it's so cute and they had more of the carousel like line in the dollar spot I got something from it actually but that was the one thing they didn't have which is so disappointing um but I'm still gonna keep searching for it anyways I thought we'll come down and do a quick little haul of all of the fall slash Halloween goodies that I've picked up this year it's not too much actually like I said the Halloween selection has not been the best this year. But first, like I said, I went to Michael's looking specifically for this leaves garland here. I have some ideas for this, especially for the bookcase. So got two of those and I really like these also because I can reuse it every year, so that's nice. I found this, which is so cute. I've seen this like online um, and I finally saw it in person. I did not realize this thing is huge, but it's a little ghost cloche and the eyes do light up but i kind of like it without the lights that looks a little creepy but i don't know this is just so weird and so unique and cute i had to get it so i got this from marshall's yeah from marshall's i found it this thing i've already talked about but i got this from bath and body works it is a little wallflower dracula's castle which is so cute and it like lights up when you plug it in super excited about this find um okay and then i think everything else like i really haven't got that much stuff is from target this is like multiple trips to target this mug that i was drinking from today i really love the jack-o-lanterns on it and then inside it says happy halloween i just thought that was too cute i had to get it okay and then the other day i was walking around target you know as you do <laughs> and i saw this pillow and i have not seen this pillow because i follow a lot of halloween groups and stuff and i have not seen anyone talk about this pillow and i just thought it was so weird <laughs> and cute and like unique that i really really wanted it so this is what it looks like just orange and then it has these little like kids dressed up in their Halloween costumes but I don't know why I just think this is so cute like little guy dressed up as Dracula you have this kid here as a pirate but look at the representation the girl with the as a witch and then you have the animals dressed up too I don't know why 
I really like this, but I do. I think it is just so cute and weird. And I just love it. I think it's the pediatrician in me. <laughs> I just love seeing all these little kids being represented. I don't know, but this is just too cute. I had to get it. It was only 10 bucks. And the last few things I picked up in the dollar spot, or I guess it's the Bullseye Playground now from Target, because they this one was huge. Like I said, they had a ton of stuff, so I was actually able to get my hand on a bunch of things. So I picked up one of these velvet pumpkins, just because like you always need these to kind of decorate and, th and like have around the house. So I just got it in this really pretty burnt orange. Got another little pumpkin, light up pumpkin that I thought was really cute. Let's see how it looks. I mean, those lights are kind of lame. It was only three bucks and I just thought it was really cute. I really like the color of it. Again, just more like little things to have around. I got this little um, dish towel set, which I thought was really cute. I haven't seen this one either. It has a little jack-o'-lantern embroidered. It just says Happy Halloween, but then I like the little jack-o'-lanterns here. These, oh my gosh, these are so cute. I was debating whether or not to get these, but I just think it's so funny. This is um for like a little bar cart or something, and it has a little ghost, and it says feeling spirited. You get it? Like spirits, feeling spirited. I don't know, I just thought it was so cheesy and so cute. <laughs> and I really like how the ghost looks. Um. So I had to get these. I think this would be cute to just decorate with, not to actually use. I don't know, I had to get it. And it was only $3. Okay, then the last, last thing from that little, like, I don't even know what they call it, like the little carousel or circus line. Um, I got these little figurines because I saw this one girl, her name is, I follow her on Instagram, The Wandering Reader, I think that's the name of it. I'll link, I'll put it here and link her down below. She has really great, like, horror wrecks. Um, and she is the one who keeps showing off this little girl. Let me open it. The other two little kids, I don't really care about, but this little girl is super cute. And again, like really unique looking. For just this little girl, look at her. And her little stockings, she's holding the little trick-or-treat pail. Yeah, I think this is so cute. Oh, love it, we love to see it. I'm going to eat lunch now relax a little bit and then we will get to decorating the bookshelf i think i'm gonna decorate it first and then we can figure out my tbr oh there's one more piece i forgot i've already been hanging it on my bookshelf at this piece from joann's which i was so excited so it's this little like hanging ghost thing has this little ghost like how cute is this this ghost <laughs> he's a little like snaggle tooth and then this ghost how cute! I, I ate really lunch and took a nap. <laughs> uh, get all the my Halloween decor out. So I'm gonna have it all and then let's get decorating. Finally, let's do this. Here's what we're working with. We got pillows, we got signs, we got some bats I can stick on the wall that I didn't end up using last year. Lots of other little goodies. The new stuff, okay. Now, <laughs> what are we gonna do? So I think that I'm going to try to decorate like the top of the bookcase, that is what I'm thinking. I did one of the garlands. It's not quite long enough, but it like just fits, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, and then I was just trying to see, so I put one of my metal houses from Target that I love. I want to get another one from their collection because I eventually, when I have my own, my own home, I want like a haunted house collection area. So I 
am liking the idea of it. I think that um, if I get another metal house, maybe I could switch things up and then get two other little homes. I actually really like how this little pumpkin looks here. So maybe I need another little pumpkin. And I think those like small black uh, houses that I want to get will kind of like fill it in. But I think for now, this is kind of cute. Now the question is, do I want to hang this little garland that I have up um, on the bookcase? I think I'll just hang it up to see what it looks like. It may be too much and then we'll see. And also I am going to show you all decorating, me decorating more because I thought that would take a lot longer. obviously um, I spent the rest of yesterday finishing up my decorating um, I will show you all the last final clips of everything but let's talk about now the TBR that I have for fall actually I'm gonna close the window so things a little loud Hold on. so we're gonna talk about our fall TBR I started making like a little um, list of everything that I want to read this fall. So this is going to be for September, even though I know September is almost over. <laughs> September, October, and November. September, I didn't read too much and I couldn't have anyway, which is why this video is going up later anyways, because I was in the NICU for three weeks, which is a very uh, like intense schedule wise, but now I have much more free time. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about are the classics that I wanna read this season. So I actually have three and three and like a story um you'll see what i mean in a second but the first one which is the one that i'm actually currently reading and really enjoying is crime and punishment by fedor dostoevsky this book i am actually really liking i am about 100 pages in and it is perfect for spooky season it is like existential dark this man is going mad <laughs> um it is really interesting so far Dostoevsky's writing is just so incredible and I am annotating it like crazy. I just haven't figured out my annotation system quite yet, but I am like underlining and all that good stuff. So this is the first one that will be completed. Next uh, classic, of course, one that I'm so excited to get to is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I was supposed to read this in high school. I never did. I think I tried like the first couple of pages and I wasn't feeling it, so I just didn't read it. <laughs> but I know a lot of people, this is their all-time favorite classic, and I am super excited to check this out, especially I've been loving my classics recently. I love this Penguin Black Spine edition. So definitely be the one that I read in October. And then the next one, full book that I want to read is Black No More by by George S. Schuler. I think this is gonna be the one that I tried to read in November. I love this cover as well. This one is about, um, it's a comic satire that asks what would happen if all black people in America turned white. I've never heard of this 
this but when i was in london and i was looking at all the different bookstores i saw another book by him that was also in the penguin spine black spine edition and it was like a sci-fi kind of classic so if i read this and really enjoy it i definitely want to check out that one of the super random but i'm just like really excited to check this author out and then the last one that is like a story that i want to read is edgar Allan poe i really want to read or reread because i'm pretty sure i have read it in the past the fall of the house of usher because the tv show is coming out and it's by oh my gosh what's his name Flanagan is that his last name he did all the other incredible the haunting of hill house my favorite is um oh my god I'm blinking oh, I'm blinking on what it's called the one with the vamp about the vampires the one on the I set on the island I have to figure this out midnight mass oh my god my brain did not want to get that one but that is my that one was my favorite of all three i don't know i just love midnight mass um and the guy who plays the priest one of my favorite performances ever i thought he was the perfect pick but anyways i am so excited to watch the fall of the house of usher i did see the trailer which the trailer didn't give much away and it seems like he's taking a very liberal um interpretation of the fall of the house of usher because i last year i read what moves the dead last year i read what moves the dead by t king fisher which is a retelling of the fall of the house of usher um and so i have been wanting to read the actual story and now with the tv show i'm super excited also did you see that there's a, a sequel to this book now they just um release it i'll put the cover here i really like this cover but like why does this need a sequel i'm really excited about this one so that's all the classics that i plan to read for the fall season just knocked my entire camera down <laughs> so the angles off that's why okay next let's talk about the new releases that are coming out this year there are so many incredible releases coming out september and october that i am so excited about one of which my all-time uh, my most anticipated release has already come out so let's talk about that one that's obviously rouge by mona awad i am almost i'm more than halfway through i'm on part part four of this and i'm not gonna give my thoughts away but it's very interesting <laughs> this is about beauty standards um yes so i'm excited about this i am currently vlogging me reading this so look out for that vlog i'll probably be the next vlog that you see of me completing this um so there's that one and then another new release that i was super excited about is the september house i bought these books in a vlog where i went book shopping for new releases i bought some other books too so i'll link that video down for below for you as well but this is the september house by carissa orlando i just love this cover so not really sure what this one's about i think it's about a, a home that is haunted bleeds every september and this woman just will not leave the home but i think her husband leaves her I'm not really sure i'm excited about it i do love a haunted house story so i'm sure this is going to be great oh wait let's talk about this one that came out already holly by stephen king i am interested in this one as well i think though i want to wait for some people to read it first and give me their opinion just because i know it's following a character that is set in so many you like apparently first met her in the mr mercedes series which i do have the first two books in that series and then she was also in The Outsiders, which I didn't read, don't really want to read. And then there's like a short story she was in. So let me know if, if you've read this book and you think I need to read those before I read this one. Or can I just read Holly and enjoy it? Because I would really like to. I just, again, I love a haunted house story. It's like these professors that have like a dark side. They're hiding something in their house. Sounds very interesting. A few more that I'm excited about. One is called The Reformatory. Anna Reeve Do. I wanted to put a D in the first name this one i have never read anything by her but i only hear incredible things about her this one comes out oh on halloween oh that would be a fun one to go by on halloween and read okay so this one is set in jim crow florida um you're following robert stevens jr he's sent to a segregated reform school that is a chamber of terrors where he sees the horrors of racism and injustice for the living and the dead that one sounds like it's gonna be so intense i don't know if i actually that one sounds like it may be too much, but I am interested in it. I am curious. I probably am going to buy it, but I think I just have to like mentally prepare myself for that one. The next one is Blackbeard. So this book, first of all, this cover, look at this cover. Beautiful, like vintage horror. Oh my God. Um, I saw this one on Simon from Simon Reed's channel. Oh my God, this cover. I can't. Okay. This is by Anna Biller. Um, and like he was showing off the French, it has French flaps and there's all these like beautiful designs on it. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. This one, it comes out October 10th 
and this is a submersive take on the famous French fairy tale from the acclaimed director of The Love Witch and for fans of Jane Eyre. When the successful British mystery writer Judith meets Gavin, a handsome and charming baron at a birthday party on the Cornish coast, his love transforms her from a bitter, lonely young woman into a romance heroine overnight. After a whirlwind honeymoon in Paris, he whisks her away to a secluded gothic castle, but soon she finds herself trapped in a nightmare. With dark humor and evocative imagery, Bluebeard's castle is a, is a submersive take on modern romance and gothic erotica. I don't know, it just sounds so interesting and so good, and I'm so curious about this. One more, this one's called The Death I Gave Him. Um, first of all, this cover is beautiful. I believe this one's already out. Yeah, this one came out September 12th. First line is what made me interested. A lyrical, queer, sci-fi retelling of Shakespeare's Hamlet as a locked room thriller. <laughs> Sounds incredible, okay. Definitely need to buy that one. All right, and then the last one, a new release that I'm so excited, all of these, like, I'm so excited for it, is um, Out There Screaming. This is the anthology edited by, oh, where is it? Edited by Jordan Peele. So this is an anthology of new black horror. Um, I'm so excited about this. Oh, this one comes out October 3rd, so we're very close, um, yeah groundbreaking anthology of all new stories of black horror exploring not only the terrors of the supernatural but the chilling reality of injustice that haunts our nation so i'm excited about this i have seen people have gotten arcs of this and i've heard some mixed things about it but i don't care i want to support it i'm gonna buy it so i'm very excited about that one those are all the new releases that i'm super super excited about now let's go to the backlist so for my backlist reads i will be doing vlogtober um like i do every single year where i vlog every single day um and i'm going to try to read of course as many spooky books as i can now i have so many horror books on my shelves unread horror books that i really want to get to but the air will be thick with indecision and I won't be able to make a choice and then I won't read. <laughs> so I'm going to do a fun little TBR jar um, and here are all of my unread horror books, almost all of them. Some of them I didn't put in here, like some of my really big ones that I don't want to read, like it. <laughs> I thought this would be a fun way to also get to my backlist for Vlogtober. So this is what I'm going to be doing for vlogtober so make sure you check out those vlogs i'm super excited about it there is one horror book that i would really like to read slewfoot by brahm so i started this during last vlogtober but i put it down because this was a book that i just knew i was loving it so much this is a book that i knew that i this is the book that you need to like just read all in one sitting so i thought this would be the perfect one to do like a 40 hour readathon or something this cover is gorgeous i'm sure a lot of you have seen this like a lot of people read this last year actually this was incredible and it has some great um, illustrations in it. Okay, and then speaking of my vacation, um, during my cruise, I have learned that taking horror books, fantasy books, all those kinds of books do not work for me on vacation. I need like just fun time books. So last time I did this vlog, I talked about how I wanted to take My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante on my previous vacation, but I was reading a different book and I was just hooked, so I didn't pick this up. So I am going to take this with me because I still think this would be a good read for vacation. I'll translate it from the Italian by Anne Goldstein. So I'm really excited about this. Another book that I have in mind to take is this cozy fantasy book. This is called The House Witch. This is by Delamac. It is a very thick book, but does this not look like the perfect like fall cozy time? I am really excited about this one. I am going to take this one with me. I think this, again, this would be just a good one just to have with me on my vacation, just something fun, something cozy. This one you are following this, um, I think he's a chef in a royal house. A heartwarming and humorous blend of fantasy, romance, and mystery featuring a witch with domestic powers and the royal household he serves. That just sounds so cute. So those are the ones that I'm going to take with me on vacation. We're going to have my TBR jar for my backlist to pick a bunch of horror books. So um, I think that's it. Oh, one more thing is that I'm also going to do last of October, I did this where I had a tbw jar where i had all of the horror movies and spooky movies or just like fun spooky movies like halloween town and stuff that i want to read for spooky season but again i'm sometimes if i don't if i don't know what to pick then i just don't pick anything <laughs> so i would love it if you all could leave me your spooky movies down below so that i can put them in the jar and try to watch them over vlogtober please tell me down below which ones you think is to watch especially if there are like some newer horror movies that you think i need to check out 
leave them down below so I can put them in that jar and we can watch them together um, together <laughs> during my vlogtober. That is everything that I have for you all. I think this is a pretty good fall TBR. I'm super excited to get into spooky season. Um, I hope you all enjoyed seeing me decorate for fall time and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.